I'm living in a dream, though I must admit the surreal light has been challenged by shadows and darkness. I've been orbiting a portal in the space and time continuum, one that I've yearned for ever since leaving my loving family's warmth and flying off into the unknown as an adult. I wasn't born in the USA and I decided I wasn't going to die in its bureaucratic stranglehold either. The architect in me felt it was suffocating in a suburban nightmare. I knew roughly what I was getting myself into when I departed friends and family. What sense of home existed in California after having arrived 45 years earlier at age 7 from Southern Africa. I'd become a passport holder but I never felt like I belonged there. The decision to exit southwards and drive a reverse migration into Central America was once steered by the fickle finger of fate. It was a long haul to a new place that had happy people and felt truly free on a creative level. I had visited often, but it was time to move once again, but with intention to grow roots. Prior to departure, I had been dreaming of a piece of land down a long private driveway so that I could be immersed in biological diversity. A piece of Gaia that was affordable for an architect who had designed homes for millionaires but never made enough to do more than rent. I would always had ants in my pants, beginning with many family moves in my youth and continuing into adult choices to not have a life focused on procreation, but rather one on the creative journey of the nomadic artist. The gateway goal was my own nest, and identifying as an architect, it was one that I wanted to design and build myself. The place I dreamed of surely would be an off-grid opportunity as the price had to be below market value. Ideally, it had access to abundant water and a nice view too. When asking the universe for what you want, you need to get specific, or so I had heard. They also say you have to leave the city of your comfort and enter into the wilderness of your dreams. For what you'll find will be wonderful. For what you'll find is your true self. I wasn't much of a gambler, or so I had thought. But alas, there's only one life to live and to do so to its fullest. After a few years of making ends meet, magic arrived for my 50th birthday through connections I'd made upon arrival. As was dreamt, the perfect spot serendipitously fell into my lap, and thus down the rabbit hole I went.
decided to build a small home that focused on the quality of spaces, not the quantity. Due to the year-round tropical warm weather, I wanted to create space that was so porous between indoors and out that nature came through as if the house didn't exist. I chose to use recycled and sustainable materials as I'm an environmentalist at heart and had a low budget. Two old 40-foot shipping containers were purchased, one for the house and one for the lap pool, both cut in half during prefat to get them to the site and manage their movement without cranes. The two home boxes served the biggest storage zones, one for the kitchen and a private bathroom and a guest bedroom on top, the other for an office and library and closed bodega topped by a master loft. Everything else, living room, dining room, master bathroom, guest bedroom, found an outside but protected location. These areas were then covered with a playful, woven secondary wall and roof structure made with bamboo self-harvested on a friend's farm. Geotextile was used on the ceiling, then vinyl billboard scrap provided the waterproofing layer, and finally, it was covered with local palm frond. After three years of effort and sweat equity, after being a hermit in the jungle, building my house both before, during, and now what seems like after COVID, I finally arrived at the doorstep to that next chapter that defines my life. And though it has been an arduous journey on so many levels, I need to pinch myself constantly to make sure that it's real. As I still can't believe that I am not dreaming. <laughs>